Good morning, everybody. Elsa the Bargain Hunter here. It's about 9.30 in the morning on a Thursday. And yes, I am early. Uh, several reasons for that. I had to get up and start my year 24 hour urine collection so you know I'm definitely I'm, on, I'm not leaving the house anyway but now I'm definitely not leaving the house because if I have to go I'm not carrying that thing with me and um, the purpose for that is to uh, uh, measure the cortisol levels in my brain to try to figure out what's going on as far as dizzy spells uh, neck pain stiffness a lot going on guys um, but I started that this morning and I'm to collect it for 24 hours and then take it to the clinic tomorrow where it will be tested. And also I have a three o'clock phone appointment with my endocrinologist today. So I wanted to do what I had to do early before, um, before that appointment. That way I can just focus on the conversation. Hopefully my blood work uh, that I did a couple of days ago is in and the results are in and we can at least start figuring stuff out you know so um i'm waiting on that and that's not till three o'clock so also because <clears throat> i received an instagram purchase yesterday but the day was a little bit hectic so i didn't record it now um because we're not allowed well we're not not that we're not allowed here it's not mandatory it's not ordered it's voluntary um our mayor has issued a voluntary curfew from nine at night to six in the morning what is that all about like voluntary i think we should all just stay home we should be ordered to stay home and stop the spread but and then it's a, a, a stay at home advisory it doesn't make any sense like everyone should be ordered to stay in everyone should be ordered to be in their house if they have to leave by nine o'clock i've never heard of a voluntary curfew nobody's gonna listen to that Especially around here. It's ridiculous. Hubby went to put gas uh, gas up the car a couple of days ago across the street from the high school. And in the field of the high school, there were kids practicing soccer in one side of the field and kids practicing baseball on the other side of the field. Like, come on, people. Let's, let's get with the program here. Let's stay in the house and stop the spread. It's ridiculous, but I don't know. It makes no sense. But anyway, um, because we're not supposed to, be going out a lot of us addicts shopping addicts crafting addicts uh, Dollar Tree addicts have um, turned to online shopping and that's something that I've done and uh, one of the things that I've been doing because um, to support one another there's a lot of people on Instagram that are um, selling crafty items whether it be a D stash whether it be a uh, handmade items embellishments whatever so i'm trying to support um if i see something that I like i'm trying to support those those pages on instagram by making purchases and it helps me out too because um i can't go outside <clears throat> you know so um i got this purchase last for less than 35 dollars and that includes the shipping and it's uh it's from sorry pretty paper shop that's her instagram uh, tag and I'm also uh, gonna attach her YouTube link in the description box so you guys can go over and check her out she um, has a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and it's like okay I'm in so this purchase was originally um, Christmas stuff paper basically is what it consisted of and do I need paper right now no Christmas paper no I don't need that right now but did I get it yes because Christmas to me is one of the biggest holidays that's the holiday that people tend to gift to more people uh, Mother's Day we give to our mothers Valentine's to our significant other uh, Easter to uh, me majority I give Easter to kids to the grandkids and the little nieces and nephews but Christmas you gift to your friends and family as many as you can so being that I'm crafting now, I purchased the paper pads because I want to do more tags, I want to do more cards, I want to do more uh, die cuts, I want to do more pocket letters. I have a bigger uh, group of people now that I'm on YouTube. And um, I usually overbuy on clearance for Christmas. Anyway, I have like six boxes maybe, huge boxes of... Um, 
ornaments, uh, gift wrap, ribbon, uh, gift bags. I already have toys for the kids next year. You know, it's come next year that it'll all be gone and I have to restock. But anyway, point is, I didn't need to buy the paper pads, uh, space wise, but I needed to buy it because one, I'm an addict, and two, it was a great deal. So the original post was paper pads, Christmas paper pads, and I'm going to show you guys the extra goodies she put in there. It was amazing. But let me show you the paper pads first. So she has added in the um, paper pad stash three mini 6x6 six six paper pads. And this is called Old World Winter. I'm not going to flip through it because I'm horrible at doing that. But these are the patterns that are in there and I believe no this one's not double sided so I love that one there is a vintage Christmas paper pad now some of these have been used no big deal because the price that I paid for it amazing so this is the patterns on that one and this one is yes this one is double sided amazing love that and then this one is Safe Freeze, also double sided. Love that. And then she's included some paper that I'm assuming she cut out herself. Oh. And some have been used, as you can see, with die cuts, but that's okay because it gives me ideas. And this is another one that's been used. So it looks like she used a mason jar, so I'm okay with that because, like I said, I can. Um, I'll try to flip this one. I can um, get ideas from that. So I thought that was amazing. So that's the extra paper. It came in the bag. I tried recording and then my, <clears throat> my tablet ran out of space. So I had to stop. Uh, make sure it doesn't fall. And then I got, so I got three 6x6 six six and I also got three 12x12s. 12 12. Now, this one is not double sided, but I love it. Look at the swans. Isn't that beautiful? Love that one. This one is used. This one I think is used, but doesn't seem to have been missing a lot of paper. This is another one that says Safe Freeze. These are the hot lights from Michaels. And you guys know these go for literally 20 bucks. So that's the other one. Actually, I got four. I have four pads. Oh no, guys, I got more. Uh, this is this one. This one's not double sided, but this one's beautiful. This one is called Safe Freeze as well. I like the red glitter on that one. Look at the poinsettias. Beautiful. I'm trying to go fast because I think I heard something upstairs. And this one's. Oh, this one's beautiful. This one's up from Recollections. And this one doesn't look like it's even been opened. No, this one hasn't even been opened, guys. Look at that. So this one alone paid for the whole purchase. Look at that. You, know, you guys know this is 20 bucks. My phone's ringing. You guys keep seeing me look over. It's because I have the phone on side, just in case the doctor calls early. So this is amazing. So I got three, four paper pads, and one that's not opened. So this is amazing because this alone cost $20. <clears throat> this alone cost $20 and I paid, like I said, less than $35. Wow. Now this hasn't been opened. And this is the cardstock paper. It has 25 sheets and it has a price of $4.99 by Recollections. Look at this. That is amazing. I love this one right here. Wow, I love this. And it looks like it's double-sided as well. I don't know. It might be. And it's brand new. It hasn't even been opened. Brand, brand spanking new. So that's that. Now that was it as far as the paper pads. What I seen on the post. Now what I seen on the post and what I actually received is two different things. Guys, check this out. She gave me an abundance of stickers amazing so this one here 
It looks, unless it's buried somewhere, it looks like it might have one missing. Uh, yeah, one. And that's very cute. The letters, the alphabet, I love these. And it has numbers in the back. This one's some other numbers, I mean letters. I got two of these to complete the set of the alphabet. That one. And this one. So I have letters. That's awesome because I like to try to put them on the um, on the pocket letters. And this is by Stickle 57 Pieces. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the bunny. <laughs> and this is an eight count of Jot stickers. The packaging on this is different. Is this Dollar Tree? And if it is, it's probably a it's probably an old package because the jot sign looks a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing. But I love those flowers, those are tulips, right? It's an eight count. This is a 12 count of pop up stickers, and these are so cute. Check out the elephant, that's cute. And then this one says glitter stickers, one sheet. I can't tell how many pieces, but guys, this is so cute. It's more family based stickers. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, I love this. This is happy anniversary. And it has like frame stickers, very glittery. It's actually still attached. That says happy anniversary. Can't tell, but that's what it says. <laughs> This is more Christmas related. It says season greetings. The first page says season greetings. But the second one doesn't. Look at this. Bunch of gold hearts and numbers and letters. Oh, I love this. These are Christmas related and they're just tags. Three sheets of these. Six, five tags. Try to go as fast as I can. I want. I don't want to bore you guys. This is eight count stickers from Jot. Oh, these are really cute. They're really cute. I love those. And then this is a sticker kit. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at that. It's one pack. It has doesn't ninety six pieces. It's keys. I love old fashioned antique keys. Oh. Look at that. I love these frame stickers. These are tags mostly, I think. This is, this is like for borders. I love that. Oh, I love it. My wish is for you. These look like um cardstock stickers or embellishment types, I think. I don't know. I love the colors. This is happy birthday. Oh my god, incredible. These are more. These are more, more birthday related, party related stuff. Love the colors. I'm telling you guys, this is all extra. This was not on the post. Look at these borders. And then there's a pack of 41, 41? 41 count stickers. This looks like they're more for planning and stuff, I guess. This is a 46 count borders. It's cute. This is a 32 count. I love the pink. More borders. Guys, I'm telling this was not, this is a 76 count. Okay, this looks like the other one that I just showed you guys. I'm not sure. But I love it. And this is the last pack of stickers. It's also 76 counts. So I got two of these. This is fine. I love it. It says stickers, but I don't know if these actually stick. We'll find out. Now, she's also included, guys. I'm telling you. What I prayed for this and what I got is two different stories and um, steel. Look at these. These are little, they're little 3D flowers. Isn't that beautiful? And then these are tiny type 373 stickers. Look at that. And these are numbers, yep. They might have a sheet missing. 
so this one wants this 373 but once again it's fine and I think this is it and this definitely was not in the picture and I love it and it's stamps now the stamps say from our house to yours homemade by blank from the garden of blank here comes here's what's cooking a mason jar stamp hand stitched by designed by and a made with love stamp so there's a total one two three four five six seven eight stamps wow i was not expecting this these are all the stamps that are included in this package oh, i love it and it looks like maybe no not even none of them have been used it looks like the mason jar one might have had a tape over it but guys i mean you guys <clears throat> my opinion you're craving to go shopping check out instagram check out um pretty paper shop there's several others as the purchases come in i will uh be showing you guys but you guys go over go to instagram check everybody out if you're craving if you have an itching to buy craft products craft items um you you don't want to miss out like i said i paid less than 35 dollars for this and that included the shipping and i with a pad that's not open alone paid for that and maybe a couple of things paid for the purchase and I am loving it. I'm loving it. I am waiting for more packages of other purchases that I made on is from Instagram, and also from uh, a D stash that I got from another D stash that I grabbed from Gina. There's a funny story behind that, but I'll share that with you guys later. I'm gonna attach Pretty Paper Shop um, Instagram and channel link in the description box below for you guys to go over and check her out. She's amazing. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much for all the extras. I was not expecting that. And I greatly appreciate that and you. And I look forward to continue doing business with you and growing a friendship, of course. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.